Hi, everybody. All right, I took the weekend off from... Not from working, because trying to get that plane going, but I did take the weekend off from narrating videos, so we are back in full swing. Uh, in the last video, we finished sort of sizing up and squaring up this front fairing. We we're pretty happy with the placement, and we had to drill, and we had drilled the initial uh, holes into the side. Okay, great. So now what comes next? So remember how I told you that it was a pain in the butt getting this fairing on because you had to. You had to attach the little side bracket on one side and then slip the fairing over and then attach the side bracket on the other because it just wouldn't work either way. So the, the real idea behind this is that when both brackets are mounted to the fairing, then it slides right onto the wheel. So out of the side of the front fork, there's a, a, a screw that goes in. It's actually the, the screw that goes through the whole tire. And there's a series of washers on the outside to a smaller diameter and then a larger diameter washer on top of that. And what that does is that creates a groove that the two brackets basically glide onto. So all we have to do is make sure that that fits and that that's pretty happy. There you can see now it's easier just to slide them on in both directions. or slide it on from the back, I should say. And then it's pretty happy, and then we're good. So after that, just like in the main fairings, what we're gonna wind up doing, here you can see I'm marking the uh, spot. So there's one more hole to put on both sides, and that is the hole uh, on the side which corresponds to where the tow bar attaches. So it, there, as you see the side of the front fork, you can see the uh, main axle, and if you look really close, you can see the uh, the, the the washers I was talking about. Uh, slightly ahead of that is a lightning hole and ahead of that is a small 3 8 hole and that is going to be, well that's got a big Allen uh, bolt stuck through it. There's going to be a huge spacer. You saw me cut the spacers for those years ago. I, I don't even remember which video that was in. But there's two aluminum spacers that are used to sort of stand off those uh, hex bolts and then your tow bar attachment goes around the ends of those hex bolts and then you can move the plane at your at your will. So next step is much like the main fairings. So in the main fairings we have the brackets on both sides right that attach to the wheels and then attach to the, and use those to attach the fairings and what we did was we went in and added a bunch of flock stuff epoxy on the inside of the fairing so that when it was attached to the wheel it was a little more, you know, flushly attached because these are all curved pieces of fiberglass and the attached brackets are all just bent metal. Right, so we're doing the exact same thing here. We're mixing up the epoxy, uh, putting it up against the side of the fairing, and then we are squishing the brackets into them uh, and clecoing them in place. I think, actually, we're not even clecoing. I think we're just straight screwing these things in. Uh, and at the same time, we are... Uh, you know, dipping the screws or clecos, whichever one we're using, uh, into uh, release wax. Also, at the same time, we made sure to uh, surround the footings of the brackets with plastic tape. So, just like regular plastic uh, packing tape, does a great job of not sticking to the resin. <clears throat> and then, once you're done, and we're you know, once those are set, then you're able to just uh, put nut plates. There you can see the four holes in the back of the bracket. What we'll do is we'll just wind up putting nut plates on all four of those and then just have number six countersuck screws come in from the side on both sides. Just like the main fairings. More or less. All right, so in the next video, I'm just going to let this one trail out because this is a pretty simple one. Uh, in the next video, we're going to finalize making sure that this gets fit on, and then we'll start working on the front as well. Uh, this is going to be a lot of, a long week, so we're, we're putting more videos out. Everything is coming together quickly, so I will give you more updates as we go. So thank you for joining, uh, joining me, everyone. Hope you're going to have a good week. See you soon.